Right, okay, good morning YouTube. Now today, uh, we were supposed to be working on the Mini, but Gilly hasn't come around again. So I might do some work on my own on it, I might not. Uh, depends whether I get time, but tomorrow we're going to Silverstone watching the MotoGP and we're going to, me and Ruth are going, and we're going to take the 350Z. So I just need to sort a few things out on that, yeah. They took it to work on Thursday and I noticed the exhaust was blowing. I think it's coming from the right side bank where the uh, cap meets the manifold. So today gonna jack it up, see what's going on. I actually jacked it up yesterday, found that the left hand side, uh, the gasket was the wrong way around. That's Reg. Arguing with the cat. Leave the cat alone, lad. Leave the cat alone. Um so I sorted that out, took it out, took it out again and it's still it's coming from the right side, so I'm gonna uh, jack the car up. Have a look underneath, see what's going on, hopefully get that sorted, so then when we go down to Silverson tomorrow, it's not blowing its arse off, so. Right, so I've got her up on the jacks, and I've had a look underneath, and it looks like the driver's side, if I get under here, slide under. You can see, oh, you can just about see I want it focus. There we go. So you can see there the um, the soot there. So it looks like it's blowing out of there. And I've looked at these two there. These were buggers to get off when I changed it. So obviously we've got. Um, I've got, so I've got Cobra, uh, high flow cats, and the full Cobra uh, system. Go on, focus, focus. That light's in the way, there we go, full Cobra cat back system. Uh, with resonator, i got a resonator because we're doing Euro trips, I don't want to be deaf all the way there. So here, you can see where it's blowing. So I'm going to give them a tighten up now, hopefully if I can get my hand in there. And, uh, and hopefully we'll have no blowing. Right, so you, you need, for the Cobra ones anyway, slightly different sizes on the uh, sockets there. You need a 15mm um, a socket for the nut, and then it's a 17mm for the actual uh, bolt head on the other side. So, I've got that right, yeah. So hopefully, there it is, and it's a right bugger to get to, because it's a tight up there, I think I'm on. So I'll give that a tighten up in a minute and I'll uh, hopefully, that will solve it all there, so. Right, so, basically what I've done is tightened, uh, this one was slightly loose, that one which was a bugger to get to because to get it off I had to go through the bonnet through the top of the engine to that with about seven extensions to get the thing off. Uh, managed to tighten that over with the 15mm on that side, 18mm open ended spanner on the other side from the top end as bring around the back of the car. Uh, tighten that up, that was quite a bit loose, you can see where it's hopefully that'll stop uh, blowing out of there. Now it looks a little bit tighter. Uh, it doesn't uh, Wobble around, saying that. Yeah, don't wobble around now. Hopefully. Uh, and yeah, tighten these two up. The other one is a 14 mil. That's a standard one. You always get three nuts on these uh, when you're changing these. Yours, you got a, you got two nut and bolt. Then you got a standard a stud on the manifold, just one. And then your original 14 mil nut goes on the end of there. I tell you what, I will do. I might as well start it before. I. Um, before we think it, before we uh, go out on the road, because then I'm not going to lower it and then do that again, because that's a pain. Uh, hang on a minute. So, let's have a look. I got dirt on my lens. Better. 
Right, so what I've ended up doing now, I ended up putting an um, exhaust gasket seal on the uh, around the uh, the gasket where the manifold connects to the cap. Now, not a permanent fix, it's just for now because we want to silver in tomorrow, so I need to, uh, I don't want it blowing all the way there to be honest, so hopefully it'll be alright. Uh, I'm going to put the original metal uh, triangle gaskets back on I think, I managed to, I saved them when I went round to my dad's, so I'll put them back on uh, when we come back from Silverstone and then hopefully that'll be sorted. Apart from that, she's ready to go, so I'll leave it overnight to dry. I'm going to show you around the Mini in a minute, we did a little bit of work on the Mini, so I'll show you around that in a second, and here is the z drive as well. So, as you can see, it's in, yeah, it's in bits. So, got a brand new radiator for it, brand new oil cooler, the carbs were supposed to come back in the week, but Gav never came round. So, and the calipers, I'm going to have to get new calipers, apparently the calipers are uh, shot on them. So we need new calipers. And yeah, so that's it really. Once that's up and running, it shouldn't get tail on to do. Put the calves on, calipers on, and uh, exhaust back on. There's the exhaust uh, up there. Yeah, I'm gonna give that a bit of a bit of a clean up. And we should be good to go. So I'm looking forward to getting back out on that. I've not been on the road for a long time, so it's started racing really. Right, and here's the mini. Uh, we actually did do a little bit of work on it today. There you go, it's focused in there she goes. Uh, we actually, Gilly ended up coming round. So, we ended up new spark plugs, new um, new cables, we ended up putting new points in as well. So I need to, uh, and what else did we do as well? New air filter, but it seems to be the wrong air filter, so we're going to have to send that back. We also got a new distributor cap and new rotor arm, but the rotor arm's the wrong one. And yeah, so that's what we did today. Oh, and we put the new solenoid on as well. And luckily, it fired straight up because it wouldn't fire up off the battery. Uh, sorry, off the key before we had to short it out to fire it up. But managed to put that put that on as well, and it fired up straight away. So all we've got to do now is drop, give it a good service, get the right uh, distributor cap, rotor arm cover, air filter, uh, change the fan belt as well. And then we should hopefully be all right. We're going to obviously when we start doing the restoration we're going to paint the engine paint that the green the proper color uh for the old 1979 and the 1970s austin green and then we will start on the bodywork then now with the bodywork it's actually not that bad for its year it's been stored on the cover for a while so um so yeah the only bits to be honest all it needs is a little bit of just a full body respray it's actually not rotted through anyway the top lip the gutter in now there's a little bit on there focusing on there hang on a minute there we go yep a little bit there uh, but that can be that can be repaired and that's it the actual panels the a panels are spot on there's no rust on them the uh, underside is really good condition the wiring needs a little bit of attention but yeah so we managed to do that today had a bit of a laugh really uh, I completely forgot to get the camera out which was a bit of a pain but uh but yeah, so there's the Mini, and next job is to drop the oil, get it all serviced, and then we can focus on the restoration then. Then I will see you tomorrow morning for the um, for the drive to Silverstone, and hopefully we'll get to see Rossi.
to be my friend You wouldn't stay, you wanted to leave again I saw you out, I saw you with all those men You make me 